Hello everybody and welcome to Coffee Morning Prayer with Ash and myself. My name is Rachel and we're coming to you from Cheltenham, from Holy Apostles Church and from St Michael's in Wardsin. And it's really great that you can join us this morning. Um, if you're new, you're very welcome. If you're not new, you are very welcome. Very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're all doing all right. So these sessions are pre-recorded. So I think right now, Ash and I might have done, are we on our fifth? Uh, for this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I hope we're this. not looking too tired, but we've had, mm. I think Ash has had two cups of coffee. I have. I've had like, wired. yeah. <laughs> I hope we make sense then. <laughs> Shall we pray? Let's pray for me and Ash mm. as well. Yeah, really. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for this, um, for the joy of being able to read your words and to listen, Lord, to pray, to talk to you. And Lord, I pray that um, you would give us um, wisdom and insight as we dig around these few verses of Philippians today. God, I just want to pray for everybody who's um, tuning in today. God, I pray that um, for your blessing on their lives. Lord, you know the details and the situations that um, our lives find, find us in. So, Father, I pray that we would know your presence today, that you would be answering our prayers, God. Mm -hmm. That you would be removing burdens today, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, um, we've just done the, the most amazing uh, kind of Christ hymn, um, all about kenosis, uh, and it flows on from there. So we've just heard how um, uh, the journey of Jesus, the downward journey of Jesus to the cross, uh, and then the work of the Father and the Spirit in the resurrection and the exalting of Jesus to the right hand of the Father, and how all of creation uh, uh, is affected by that and renewed by that and um, uh, kind of uh, the phrase that sort of bends the knee to, to who Jesus is uh, which is to be transformed by um, Jesus and then we get to this um, which is uh, uh, therefore my beloved just as you have always obeyed me not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and arguing so that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation in which you shine like stars in the world. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and the offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. And in the same way, you also must be glad and rejoice with me. Uh, so there's lots of rejoice back in there. We note that, um, that that's through it. I, I actually, I mean, we're, we're using here the uh, New Revised Standard Version, which is a slightly more literal translation. I find this a bit clunky in mm -hmm. this bit. Um, it's not necessarily, um, I think some of the choices they've made in the translation don't actually um, cleanly reflect uh, some of the things that are in the Greek. 
uh, which is interesting. All translations are a bit like that into English. There's always some choices made. Um, uh, there's choices uh, about punctuation with this, which is quite interesting as well. The, the bit where it says, it is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ. That could be that, but it can also be um, that uh, you shine like stars in the world by holding fast to the word of life or holding not fast but holding out the word of life so it may also mean uh, that uh, you could translate it as you will shine like stars when you hold out the 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 word of god to the world around you in a crooked and perverse generation um, uh, that it's in the process of doing that you're like the stars you're the source of light so there's that there uh, but my, my beginning bit, that I, I want to just unpack that first little bit, which uh, for me is r some really fascinating stuff. Um, and again, their, their translation here, work out your own salvation, which is a difficult one. I was uh, going to ask you about it, that. It kind of works, but you have to unpack it a little bit. Um, so uh, first, the work out. Mm -hmm. Another bit of Greek, which we always like. Uh, Katagazethe. Katagazethe, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, and it, it doesn't mean um, uh, turn this into a job. Um, uh, it's uh, the something of the, the way of like working out a, a, a puzzle with maths kind of thing. We'll just see if we can work it out. Um, it's about the fact that this is something that's there but you now have to make it live. You have yeah. to now own it. So that's what they're, they're talking about. Work out your salvation. Salvation is done yeah. uh, in Jesus, but actually the fullness of it, the reality of it, the lived experience of it, now you actually have to engage yeah. with. And it's in the process of doing it that you get it. Um, so work out your plural. Mm -hmm. So work out your is plural, but salvation is singular. Okay which is perhaps why they make the choice of saying, work out your own salvation. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a strange clash there because it's not your own. It's, or it might be that the working out is done plural. Yeah. But he's, they're still talking about your, as in your group, mm -hmm. salvation. What it could mean is that actually salvation is a communal thing, mm -hmm. not an individual thing. Mm -hmm. We, again, it, which we, you've said in the past, we think too much of salvation being this is our personal thing, it's about our personal uh, mental ascent or whatever it mm -hmm. is. But that actually salvation is something which comes to the community. Mm -hmm. um, so we work it out. With fear and trembling, and the reason we do it with fear and trembling um, is because it's God who is working it in you. And the, the, the word there, work, um, is energon, mm -hmm. which is where we get the word energy. Um, so it's, it's God's life within us. Yeah. Just, it's almost like if you've got, if you've got God's spirit moving in you, it's like yeah. a bubbling kind of kettle. Yeah. It's like this pressure cooker yeah. that's there yeah. and it's going to have an effect on you. Yeah. Uh, so the energy is sitting within you, uh, to do it. Uh, so boom, 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 boom. Um, oh, uh, for it is God who is at work in you, enabling you. So God enables the thing that happens but he is all he's enabling both the will so the desire mm -hmm. that we want to do it so there's there's sometimes you get this thing of going actually the best prayer that i can offer at the moment is not that i want to do that but i would want to want to do it mm -hmm. and that's the thing that god gives us the want yeah but we may be able to ask for the want yeah um so we yeah. have to want to want yeah so that's a big part of it. Uh, God's will within us is at work. Uh, and again, we get the words, and to work for his good pleasure. And it goes back to, uh, uh, here it, it's a slightly different kind of thing on it, that the work is to act, to put into practice. Yeah. But even that, that uh, energion this mm -hmm. time, um, is the work of God. So both, so the, the energy that bubbles within us mm -hmm. to give us the desire, that's mm -hmm. God, yeah. it's God's energy. And the energy to act is God's energy. Yeah. So in each place, the best that we bring to it yeah. is to say to God, okay, yeah. yeah. And then God gives us that, that uh, kind of drive yeah. 
and the desire and the strength to complete. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's a weird, we, we partner with God, but he's actually the major kind of uh, uh, one bringing it. Yeah. Anything, I mean, does no, that... Yeah, it makes sense. Cause I'd written down in my Bible um, that God's self-revelation, that theophany, mm-hmm. um, will bring a transformed community, which is what you're saying. Um, it's God's work. It's yeah. God's yeah energy his spirit um you know anytime the spirit of god touches something something has to happen mm. um yeah i met somebody um who'd gone on the alpha course um the last time we did it for coffee and she said to me you know i didn't think anything had happened but it has <laughs> yeah um bec- and we chatted about it and it's bec- and it's the yes yeah, yeah. The most powerful thing in the world is it's to say saying yes. yes. It's saying yeah. yes. So it, it allows our heart to become open. It allows our mind to become open. Um, and then that self-revelation of God to infiltrate and to influence, which will always bring transformation. Yeah. Yeah. Say that again, the, the line that you've written there. Uh, God's self-revelation. Revelation, which is theophany, um, brings a transformed community. Yeah, yeah, which is just so powerful, mm. and and in a way, um, it, it 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 takes us back to this uh, this thing of God sets the bar so low mm. in terms of what we need to bring. A yes, it's just a yes. Yeah, and and it, it, it's not then a piece of work. We will be transformed. We continually have to say yes. Mm. It's an ongoing process. Mm. That's the difference between um, justification, we're set right with God, mm. and sanctification, um, or uh, theosis, mm. uh, divinization, whatever yeah. you want. It. But it, but the um, the the work that we do is just to say yes, and, yeah. and in a way, that takes us back to what we were doing about last time, where Jesus laid down, mm-hmm. emptied, mm-hmm. got just put mm-hmm. to one side. Mm-hmm. It's it's not even. Uh, we, do, we don't we don't have any part to play other than to go yes yeah. and, and keep saying yes mm-hmm. God do what you want mm-hmm. and, uh, mm-hmm. she's just amazing mm. Mm. yes 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 <laughs> <laughs> what else you got well I don't know I don't really you know that see there is something that is required of us um, you know God doesn't do things to us yeah um, and he won't override, I don't think, our news. Um, he'll be patient with us, mm-hmm. probably until we get to a place where we can say yes, or however long that takes. Um, yeah, I suppose, again, you know, Paul wanting to point out, he's not, this isn't a letter like Galatians of telling off, this mm-hmm. is a letter of warm affection. But even when people are doing right and going well, it's always good to point out, that's great make sure push we don't, on. yeah push on mm-hmm. so yeah that kind of murmuring you know that is a human condition we're all really good at it get a stars if we had to sit at GCSE <laughs> in it um, and arguing you know I think you know these are things that make community life healthy when we don't do this mm. so when we can speak directly to people when we're not gossiping um, you know that we are able to disagree agreeably all of those things are going to make a healthy community all of those things the spirit will give life to as we step into those things Mm -hmm. um you know the murmur and arguing is just is what corrupts community Mm. um yeah Mm. and it echoes a lot of the the stuff um, for the Israelites when they're out in the desert. It's so true. It's that thing yeah. that's said again, or oh, they murmured against yeah. him. They murmured. Yeah. Um, and do you think there's anything to do with Moses here? Yeah, I do. About, like, I do. I, like didn't, I didn't. I didn't. But I do. And, and so um, uh, Moses, when he goes up the, the yeah, mountain, and he comes and his face shines. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and his, his his face is so shiny that they that he has to put a veil. Yeah. Over. And I know that that that, that, that is part of Paul's thinking because elsewhere he talks about the fact mm. that uh, we live with unveiled faces, mm. not like Moses. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of his things. Yeah. Uh, so I, I do. I think that that um, shining and allowing mm. what what happens when we're in God's presence. Yeah. 
to to actually be reflected. Yeah, it's the, it is the reflected glory yeah, yeah. of God's work upon yeah. us, which is yeah, and and I think it is also this counterculture of the kingdom. So he talks yet, yeah, you know, every generation is going to be crooked and perverse yeah. wherever we, you know. I don't particularly think it gets better or worse. I think some people think... That's you, don't know. (laughs) Yeah. You know, we live in a culture that will, yeah, idolise certain Mm. things. Things are in fashion. You know, but often those things aren't the things of the kingdom. And this is... So here, in this particular community, it's it's murmuring and arguing. Um, You know, be blameless, even though you see this in this culture. Don't don't tolerate that stuff in your... In the kingdom of... You know the kingdom that I'm building through you by my spirit in the church to go out to the world. Mm-hmm. You know this is a nourishing kingdom. It's not a, a kingdom that um, where people are feel, feeling diminished because people are talking behind their back yeah. and all of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, and people will see your life. So you know mm-hmm. if you start to live like that, then people will see you as bright. You'll be a bright presence. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, not a judgmental presence, no. <laughs> but a bright presence. Yeah, yeah. Um, it'll be a life-giving to be with you if you're living in these ways. Mm. Yeah, it's it's a, a brilliant uh, kind of um, passage in that, and, mm. and I think even that last bit where Paul uh, says, and again in a, in a slightly clunky way in the NRSV, but even if I'm being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and the offering of your faith. That's just a weird phrase. Which yeah. I don't know, what on oh. earth is that? <laughs> libation mm. over the sacrifice. So um, elsewhere it will get translated as a drink offering. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the, in the, the sacrificial system, uh, both in the Jewish sacrificial system, but also in other uh, pagan kind of um, systems uh, within the Roman world, uh, there is this, this idea that... Um, uh, uh, you can offer a drink, uh, a kind of a wine or whatever, you pour it out, um, and in the doing of that, it, you give it to God. Uh, that fits within the, the Jewish temple system as well. You can do that for various things. Uh, but it's a gift offering. It's not an offering, for, it's not a guilt offering. Mm. Um, so it's, it is uh, kind of given as a gift. And, and he is saying that what he's going through um, is that pouring out so he's just talked about jesus being poor being yeah. em- self empty yeah and then he's saying of course my kind of journey with you my relationship with you you know even that the that for me it may may not look like this shining like a starness mm. in everything that's going on but trust me this is what's happening yeah yeah i i'm being poured out but i'm being poured out as a a, a kind of a celebration a gift offering over what what's happening in your world mm. what, what's happening with you um, an offering of your faith and yeah. it's sort of it's the, the the sweetening of their offering yeah uh, in what he's doing uh, so that as well is is what's going on which is why he returns at the end to that thing of saying you know be glad mm. and rejoice with me don't look at me and think that that you, this is the bad thing that's yeah. happening because actually this is uh, what's what's happening with you is is a, a uh, is almost the kind of the 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 joy of what's happening with me mm. this the this life that i'm living leads to you mm. and isn't that amazing yeah i know yeah. Mm-hmm. any last bits i don't have any last that's bits. fine because i'm out <laughs> you know, uh, which is cool so mm. let's um uh, pray for for god's energy mm. um and for his desire let let's our yes be about just yielding uh, ourselves so let's pray Mm. yeah for us this today father we want to say yes and we say yes to a good god say yes to you a loving god a god we can trust Mm. the god of peace so we give you our yes today and we ask that we would know that energy that transforms and our prayer is God that we would shine like stars Lord in all of our contacts that we would be bringers of life Lord as you're a bringer of life Lord Jesus Amen Amen Mm -hmm. I will finish with the Lord's Prayer Our Our Father Father in in heaven heaven, hallowed be your name. name Your kingdom come, your will be done, 
on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Brilliant. Wonderful again to, to uh, unpack the word with you and uh, we will see you the next time. God bless. Bye, Bye for now.